but I'd rather fight Kobe Usman or McGregor. Um, to be honest, I don't, I don't want to give nobody no attention. I'd rather just fight, you know, whoever makes sense. I'm not gonna keep talking about fighting Kobe. He's obviously terrified to fight me, so I'm not gonna keep bringing it up. Um, McGregor doesn't seem like somebody that the UFC is looking to pair me up with, and Usman looked like he's slated to fight Boswell, but this is a situation where anything can change at any point in time. And I'm just going to be ready, willing, and just fucking prepared to fucking step in there and crush anybody. So that's my game plan. All right. Let me see what's next. I think it's easier to get in the UFC now. You can get in the UFC based upon um, fucking talking shit. You can have, like, Artem Loboff would have never made it in the UFC with his 500 record, unless it was for Conor McGregor. So leverage and politics can get you in the UFC. Um, I think back in the old days, you had to be like 9, 10, and 0, and then you may get the call from the UFC. Now it's so many different outlets. You can come in off the Dana White looking for a fight. You can come in off the Austin awesome Fighter. You can have a manager that, you know, they call, hey, man, I need a last-minute replacement. Can you step in and fight him? It's like, yeah, he got him, and you can get into the UFC that way. So I think it's a little bit easier, but it's also easier to get cut. They try to keep a certain amount of guys on the roster. And, um, you know, if you ain't doing your job, you ain't fucking um, doing doing the right thing, you get your ass kicked out the UFC. Do I think Chris Brown is the king of R&B? I would have to say yes. I mean, um, as far as sales, you know, star power, dancing, ability, talent, creativity, look, Swag, you know, I definitely have to say Chris Brown is for sure. Um, right underneath that, uh, very close, I would have to put um, my man Usher. All right, um, would I take it? Da, 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 what would it take to have you train me? To be honest, man, no disrespect. I really don't train a lot of people, man. Um, I got to be selfish these next few years um, to make sure I finish my legacy the way I should. And then after that, then I'll look into maybe training some more people. So I don't train anybody right now, to be honest. I did for a very long time, but now it's time to be selfish.